Several media outlets got their way today when they successfully forced the SDNY to publicly release a partially redacted copy of the search warrant that was used for the year-ago raid of Michael Cohen's residence and office. Various parts of the document seem to spell out bad news for Donald Trump. But one part in particular should truly scare him. It's not the revelation that Robert Mueller appears to have been investigating everyone in Donald Trump's inner circle a year before the Michael Cohen raid, though that's pretty ugly. It's not even that during the election, foreign money was paid into the hush money account that Trump and Cohen were using to pay off Trump's mistresses, though that's really ugly. Instead, it's a different stretch of the documentation entirely. CNBC pointed out that when it comes to the documents that were used to obtain the search warrant, it's a big deal that 19 pages are blacked out. We agree that it's a big deal, and not simply due to the generic fear of the unknown. These pages are blacked out because they relate to an ongoing SDNY criminal investigation, a year after the Cohen raid, and several months after the case against Cohen was fully put to bed. Multi-tier criminal investigations like this tend to only progress sideways and or upward. So those 19 blacked out pages are almost certainly evidence against a fish who is equal to, or bigger than, Michael Cohen. Some of it could theoretically be about the likes of Elliot Broidy, as we just learned this week that his office was raided a couple months after the Cohen raid. But really, the blacked out parts are most likely about Donald Trump, and that would mean that the SDNY is building a massive criminal case against him.